that um, the area councils are not um, equivalent to uh, local government in the, our various states. Yeah, because um, in the first place, this assembly has been known to be an advocate of um, 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 full autonomy to the local government. Going by this, I look at it as if you are trying to strip off the power of the local government or the area councils. Because in, in these discussions, if the land um, administration is being taken away totally, totality from the area councils, automatically what is left for them? Then what are we advocating here? What is the autonomy? And I think we are the makers of this law. I think we need to go back and sit down and look at it critically and let's see what we can do so that you know, peace can reign in this country. In the past, based on principle, the area councils were allowed to do layouts and then land was given to individuals, Nigerians. However, by 2004, they were stopped and we went to court. And the Supreme Court judgment is very clear. There is no rural land in the FCT. There is time bomb that is being set for the master plan of federal capital territory. In local government, yes, we have no powers to allocate. Agreed. The local government are satellite towns where the rural people need planning. These stages of planning, the most critical people that needed planning is the locals. And the, look, and the, the planning said, you plan for who you can see. We don't have rural lands. All lands in, in, in FCT are urban lands. And by the, by the constitution, the president uh, is the governor general that delegated the power to the honorable minister. And such power cannot be subdelegated to whether chairman or whatever. So any inch of land in the FCT is to be allocated by the Honourable Minister. We have a lot of uh, fraudsters where they will get title may be given by AMAC, they will backdate it, you know, engage and make some businesses without due diligence, without coming to find out. Those AMAC titles or Bwari titles or Bwagwalada or Abaji or whatever, were they actually genuinely allocated then, that was before 2004, 2005, they are supposed to have come to ages, even if they made submissions for regularization. These submissions are supposed to be verified and, and new titles are to be issued. That is the essence of regularization. I think this is an opportunity for all the petitioners, all the petitioners to submit their documents to the Secretariat before the next meeting so that uh, you know, justice can be done to the whole uh, matter. That's my solution. Believe me, in FCT, and I'm not saying it as a protection, we are very concerned about what should be.